but because thou art compassionate, purify me by the compassion of thy mercy. Hello, all Antiochian men in the Diocese of Miami in the Southeast. This is Michael Bocklig, president of the Antiochian men, and I am sitting here with His Grace Bishop Nicholas, the bishop of our diocese, and I'm here to talk about something very exciting that we have coming up in March of 2024. It is the first ever in-person Antiochian Men Conference and Retreat. Say it, nothing like this has happened before. We are having our first ever in-person Antiochian Men event for the whole diocese. It's really exciting. This is going to be happening March the 7th to March the 9th of 2024, and we'll have several speakers there, but we're not just doing guest speakers. We're gonna have outdoor activities, sports competitions, we'll have workshops. There's gonna be a lot of things planned and it's at a camp and retreat center that's the perfect place for us to come together to build brotherhood. The location is the Woodland Christian Camp and Retreat Center, and it's in Temple, Georgia, which is about an hour to the west of the Atlanta airport, and it is a beautiful location. I visited that location. I have even posted a video showing you what that location looks like. I'll put the link to that description of this one. And I know, Sayedna, you visited that, that same location and you also were very impressed. Uh, what are you looking most forward to about this event? I think I'm looking forward to reinforcing the idea of how men need to work together mm. um, in our organization, in Amen, so that we may help each other become godlike. Mm -hmm. The biggest example of how we need each other is when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And as Lazarus came forth from the tomb, he didn't tell him to unbind himself. Mm. He told others, unbind him. Mm. And that's a hint that we all need each other. We cannot survive on our own. We all need each other. And that's why Jesus told the others to unbind Lazarus. Yes. That's a really good point, and it's not something I've even thought about, but in this culture that we're in, individualism is, is what you hear everywhere, that you just need yourself. You, you hear this all the time in the dominant culture, that all you need is yourself, and there's things that are just insidious within everything that we do that makes us think that all we need is me by myself but it's just a lie isn't it just the fact that we're going to come together and be in person not on a zoom meeting but in each other's presence getting to know each other having fellowship establishing deep bonds having fun together and then also learning from each other also helping each other again that is the goal of antiochian men and the same goal for every orthodox christian is to become more and more like god and what I love about the Antiochian men, Sayedna, is we help each other to do this in a brotherhood of men together. And I feel like that is becoming, it is becoming more rare to find healthy, authentic brotherhoods in this culture that we're in. But we can find that. We can find that in the church if it's done well with a spiritual focus, with uh, with the clergy to help guide us and direct us. You yourself will be one of the speakers at this event. His sure. Grace Bishop Nicholas will be a speaker, as well as Father Stephen DeYoung. He's the pastor of Archangel Gabriel Church in Lafayette, Louisiana. We have Father Hans Jacobsi, who's the spiritual advisor to the Antiochian men. Mm -hmm. He's the pastor of St. Peter in Fort Myers, Florida. And then we have Father Jacob Andun, who is actually the pastor of a church very close to Temple, Georgia. He's in Hiram, Georgia at St. Stephen Orthodox Church, the pastor there. I mean, what a, a great opportunity for us to learn from yourself and from the other clergy. And, and what a wonderful chance for us to, to learn from each other too, because we can't just do it on the internet. We That's can't right. just listen to videos and stay in our home 24 hours a day. We have to be with each other, isn't that right? Absolutely. You mentioned our society saying that we have to be our own individual which is not what God 
planned. Mm. See, there is a, a, a difference between the uh, uh, concept of personhood and individualism. Mm. Personhood, persons are known through relationships. They are relational. Individuals are known through seclusion, mm. which is being promoted by social media. Right. So you go into your corner as an individual and look into your social media account and spend hours without talking to other people. Yeah. Uh, that's not what God intended. And the proof of that is that he did not create one individual. He created two persons. That's right. And through procreation, um, the whole world came to exist the way it does now. So a person is known through relationships. Individual is known through seclusion. And we don't want to be individuals. We want to fulfill the book of Genesis of multiplying and filling the world and through relationships. Yes, that, that is so important. The concept of community, I think, is getting lost in the culture today. The importance of community, being in communion with others, and especially men, being together to learn from each other. We talk all the time in the Antiochian men about the importance of mentoring, about the more experienced and older men coming alongside those who are younger or less experienced. What a perfect place to do this together in, a, in close quarters, in a fun environment. It's going to bring together the best aspects of camping, conferences, retreats, but this is not going to be boring business meetings. We're planning this very, very differently. And I was wondering if you would talk a little bit about the importance of attending these kinds of diocesan events. We so rarely have a chance to all get together. We're so spread out across the southeast region, really, with over 40 parishes in our diocese. But there are a few times we can come together, and this is the first time we as men can really come together in one place, which is a very central location in our diocese in Temple, Georgia, being so close to Atlanta. It's about a day's drive or less from, I would say, everyone in the diocese. It's a good central location. But you talk a lot about the importance of us coming to events together, not just for the sake of attending them, just to say that we were there. There's something very important about going to these events together. Would you talk about why we should be looking forward to this kind of an event? See, there are multiple benefits to getting together. Um, one of them is to have some fun yeah. in fellowship. You know, they, they asked um, uh, St. Anthony the Great, um, what do your monks do? He said, come and see. They came to see him and to see the monks, and they were scandalized that the monks were having some fun. And they mm. said to him, how do you allow your monks to have fun? He said, if you have a bow and arrow and you extend it once, he told them, extend it again. They extended it again. And he said, again. And they said, you can't. If you extend it more, it'll break. Mm. He said, it's exactly the same way with people. You can't pressure them too much. They have to have some fun. Yeah. And those, that event, in addition to being spiritual, there will be some fun uh, activities yes. so that people will get to know each other through the fun activities and they blow off steam and learn about Christ and about manhood. Yeah, and that learning about manhood, I think, is so needed today because so many men are confused about what it really means to be a man because the culture tells so many of us that manhood is one thing when the church teaches something very different. And I think, Sayedna, that's the, the reason why this is such an important event. It's really going to be a historic event because the focus of this and the title of the event is even the audacity of manhood, strength through virtuous work. And I think this is a message that we as men need to hear and to learn more about. Audacity means taking bold risks. Mm -hmm. Men have to know how to take the right risks. Because if you just sit back and hope that things work out, usually that doesn't work out so well. Usually you're going to miss opportunities for your own growth, for the growth of those who you're responsible for, for your family's growth and development, even spiritually, I would say. 
So as we, as we look at the theme of this being about, first of all, talking about the audacity of manhood, but having strength as men, strength through virtuous work. You talk about the importance of becoming more godlike, which it should be our goal and is our top goal for the Antiochian men. But to do that, and I've heard you talk about this, we have to acquire the virtues and we have to be willing to work in order to Absolutely. acquire those virtues. To, would you talk a little bit about especially this theme and why it is so important for our men to come and listen to these speakers about such an important topic? It is basically how to achieve becoming godlike. Mm. Acquiring the virtues, which is a lifetime journey, is how we become godlike. You see, in the book of Genesis, God gave us his image for free. And when somebody gives somebody else a gift, that other person is going to look for an opportunity to give a gift back. Mm. And the only gift we can give back to God is becoming like him mm. in acquiring those virtues. Not everybody is going to succeed in getting all the way to acquiring all the virtues to the maximum uh, capacity. Yeah. Uh, but the journey to get there counts to God. Yeah. So many of us will not make it there. Actually, in fact, it's most of us who will not acquire the virtues completely. Mm -hmm. But the journey to get there is very, very worthy. And it is very important to God. Yeah. So the journey is important and the goal is important. When we keep the goal as a, a goal for us, and we keep reminding ourselves through those retreats, through the diocesan events, then it becomes a reality that the journey is being achieved mm. day by day. Yeah. Sayedna, so, I wanted to bring up, we're now almost five years into the Antiochian Men as an organization. We've had many successes, thanks be to God, over the last few years. We have a constitution, we have parish charters, we have multiple virtual events a year. There's so many things that we've been doing and that we've had success doing. And, and I want to thank you for the vision that you put forward to establish this organization. I, I really have enjoyed my time in service to the diocese in this way. I wonder though, as we look forward, we, we see this now as a big milestone. The first time that we'll be able to do this kind of an event at this scale and I only see things getting better, God willing, down the road after that. We've, we've built so much of a infrastructure in our diocese and now we have a strong foundation for the men in each parish, the local Antiochian men chapters. Those men are helping to strengthen the church, which is so beautiful to see. We see it here at my local parish here at St. Nicholas Orthodox Church in Springdale, Arkansas. And I know it's happening everywhere. What do you see as the next step? What do you see as uh, what's coming ahead here in the, in the next year or two? I think the goal is to include every man in every parish of ours in this organization. Mm. That's the goal. And to help every man work with his fellow men to achieve or to be on the journey to achieve the goal of the top goal of becoming godlike. Mm. Um, it's very important to be inclusive and include everybody in this journey. Yeah. Um, because we will be answering to God at Judgment Day. Have we done that? Yeah. That will be a question on that day. And that's a pretty terrifying thought if we're not doing something Absolutely. to get to that goal. So I know that the men have benefited greatly from this ministry. I'm very grateful for it as well. And we have such a bright future, so much to look forward to. For all the men watching this video, if you haven't yet heard of this event, we are gonna put the link to the registration for this event in the description of this video so you can register directly from the description. And if you'd like to learn more, just go to antiochianmen.org. There's plenty of information about this event that's coming up. And we also have a promotional video on the homepage of antiochianmen.org, and you can see exactly what the location will look like. I'm really looking forward 
to this event, and I hope you are too. Uh, Bishop Nicholas, is there anything in closing that you would like to say directly to the men who are watching this? If, if they want a reason for why they should register, why they should join us, what would you tell them right now? Absolutely. I have a message for the, all the Antiochian men in the diocese. This event, which is unique because it is the first in our diocese, and not only in our diocese, actually it hasn't happened anywhere else because the Antiochian men was started in our diocese first. This event is going to set the tone for the future. It's going to set the tone for the future of how we approach going forward to become godlike. Acquiring strength through virtuous work is what makes us uh, godlike. So we need to um, look forward to it. We need to um, use it as its stepping stone to the future. It will set the tone for the future. That's so well said. Thank you, Your Grace, for your comments and your thoughts, for sharing that with us, and for everything that you've done for us in our diocese as our bishop. We are so grateful to have you. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for joining us for this video as well. Thank you, Michael, and thank you for all of you in advance to, for registering for this event. God well, bless you. We'll see you there in Temple, Georgia, March the 7th to March the 9th. Prepare for me the ways of salvation. O Theotokos, for I have profaned my whole life with procrastination. But by thine intercessions, purify thou me from all above.